click the bell icon to get latest videos from ikeda hello friends and today we are going to solve a question number 5 or you can say a problem number 5 based on roc is in inverse laplace transform basically in previous video what we have studied if the question is difficult then in exam they will give you only a single roc or they will tell you to find out inverse laplace transform but for only single roc so we'll solve a similar type of questions in current numerical also so let's go through the question first problem number five x of s is given minus 2 s plus 1 in numerator and s plus 1 and s plus 2 in denominator then find the x of t which is inverse laplace transform of x of s and for the roc which is lying in between minus 2 to minus 1 this roc is a two-sided we have solved various numericals in previous numericals also and in that there are two questions which is based on a two-sided roc so just go through it before solving this question so that you will get the idea how to find out inverse laplace transform when the roc is the two-sided so first of all my job is i'll find out the partial fraction value or you can say I'll find out the variable value here the factors are 2 so my variables also are 2 and then I'll substitute the variable value in equation and then I'll go for ROC to find out inverse Laplace transform of x of s so let's go through the solution first So, my x of s was minus 2s plus 1 upon in denominator we have s plus 1 s plus 2. As, we, as I told you earlier, here we have two factors in denominator. So, I will choose a two different variables, let us say a and b. And in denominator, I will write s plus 1 and in denominator, b, I will write s plus 2. Now, just this is my equation number 1. Equation number 1 is x of s is equal to a upon this and b upon this. Now, just do the cross multiplications or I can say that the denominator part which is on left hand side multiplied on right hand side what you will get this s plus 1 s plus 1 will get cancelled only a will be multiplied with s plus 2 similarly with the b will so s plus 1 2 s plus 2 will get cancelled s plus 1 will be there with b now as i told you just substitute s equals to minus 1 to find out the value of a and similarly to substitute s equals to minus 2 to find out the value of b so i am doing the same thing just look at the solution first what i'm going to do here we have two factors then according to two factors i'll write two different variables let's say a and b and just do the cross multiplication multiply this left hand side denominator on the right hand side what you will get s plus one s plus one will get cancel a is multiplied by s plus two and on with b s plus two s plus two will get cancelled b will be multiplied with s plus one now to find out values of a and b what i'm going to do substitute or replace s by minus one so that you will get value of a similarly s is we have to replace by minus two to get the value of b so i'm doing the same thing i'm replacing or i'm substituting s equals to minus one to find out a and s equals to minus two to find out value b now just go through the solution and just listen carefully what i'm doing After replacing s by minus 1, what you will get? This s is also replaced by minus 1. Minus 2 minus 1 becomes plus 2, plus 1 is 3. So on left hand side we have 3. Here, this s is replaced by minus 1. So 2 minus 1 is 1. So here we have only a because if this s is replaced by minus 1, the whole b term becomes 0 or the product becomes 0. So after ending or at the end, what you will get? a equals to 3. We will find out the value for b also. So, 
I have substituted s equals to minus 2 in equation number 2. This s, this is the place of s and this one is a s and this one is s. All this s is replaced by minus 2. Minus 2 minus 2 become 4 plus 1 is 5 which is available on left hand side. Now look at here, minus 2 plus 2 becomes 0, the whole product becomes 0. And here, the minus 2 plus 1 becomes minus 1, so b value is minus. Hence, the answer is also a minus 5. Now substitute b value and a value in equation number 1. What you will get? This is our equation and on this equation, I am going to apply inverse Laplace transform. But first of all, before moving to inverse Laplace transform, what was the ROC? So first of all, go through it and then you will get the idea what is our solution for given ROC. So this is our ROC. In this case, our ROC is exist on the right hand side of minus 2 and here the ROC is exist on the left hand side of pole. So I will draw the line according to it. Here the ROC is greater than minus 2. Greater than minus 2 means what? The ROC is available on the right hand side of right most pole. This was the pole. So your ROC is available on the right hand side of this pole. I am just marked the region. Similarly, look at here. Here the ROC is less than minus 1. Less than minus 1 means what? It is available on left hand side of pole. So, this is the boundary and your ROC is available on left hand side of pole. So, here we have the left hand side. Now, from this you can say that your ROC is actually exist between minus 2 and minus 1. Now, from this you can say that here the minus 2 pole produces ROC which is a right hand side whereas minus 1 pole produces ROC and it is a left hand side. So, if the pole or ROC is left hand side, we are going to replace or we are going to substitute inverse Laplace transform 1 by S is minus U of minus T. And if here the pole produces ROC right hand side then 1 by S Laplace inverse is a u of t only. So, my statement is applying inverse Laplace transform on equation number 3. What you will get? Look at here. This inverse Laplace transform x of s is x of t. This constant is, I am going to take this constant outside. Now, what else is remaining? 1 upon s plus 1. s plus 1 means what? This s is shifted by plus 1. So, this plus 1, opposite value of plus 1 will be multiplied with a t, which is available on power of e. This t is multiplied by opposite sign value of 1. It is minus 1. Minus 1 into t is minus t. Now, Next part is this one is also solved. Now what is remaining? 1 by s. Just go through the ROC for minus 1 pole. Here the ROC is on left hand side. So unit step is replaced by minus u of minus t. Understood? This is the minus sign and this one is your minus u of minus t. Now next one is minus 5. Here the s is replaced by or s is delayed by plus 2. So multiply this t by opposite sign of plus 2 which is minus 2 so what you will get e to the power minus 2t and then at the end the pole produces a right handed side ROC which means 1 by s inverse Laplace is nothing but unit state and this is all about ROC and this is all about our answer this is the simplest way and simplest numerical to find out inverse Laplace transform for given possible ROC so in the next video we will solve a last numerical and for that you have to stay tuned with ikeda and subscribe ikeda for further more videos thank you so much